Man, these dudes, these who did the Julio Fulio murders, man, that this this got to be the world's dumbest criminals. It's a lot of dumb ones out there, but they, this takes the cake, man. But this, what I want to know, is how is these young people getting a hold to all these illegal firearms, bro? These 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 are expensive firearms that they have. How are they getting them? With what money? This dude, they living at home with their mamas. They broke. They don't even have cars, but they got $10,000 assault rifles. Do you know what a fully automatic assault rifle costs, AR-15? Go try to buy one brand new fully automatic legally if you can do it first. Number two, first of all, niggas don't fuck with them because you got to sign a paper with the feds. They can come in your house at any time. And if you can, if you do want to get one, do you know how much they cost for a fully automatic on brand AR-15 or AK-47, they $25,000 and up to $70,000 for some of these guns. But we getting them in the hood all day. Motherfucker ain't even got a, a place to stay, a car, but they got these guns. Now they putting the switches, they cheaper, all through the hood. So what I'm saying is, and, and and then they getting these guns with these drums on them, FNs, high-end firearms. They not fucking with no cheap shit. You know what I'm saying? They having these higher, so where are they getting this from? You know what I'm saying? Dog, it, it, what will make me say that is because I seen a Ku Klux Klan member on the thing. He said, look, it's not a, we don't have a problem with the blacks no more. All we got to do is drop firearms, crack, and fentanyl off in the neighborhood, drop a bunch of over the middle of Detroit, Chicago, and places like that. And let them get them, and they'll do their own work. They'll do the work for us. We don't have to kill black people no more. That's what they say. And it's right. This thing is truth to that. Where are they getting? And then you know it's so crazy, man, that guns are illegal in most states. So guns are legal at a, you know, you can buy a, a rifle, assault rifle in most states at 18 years old. And you can get it, as long as you don't buy it from a store, you can get a, a fire, a pistol legal too. It's ways going about it. You don't have to be 21. You could be 18, 19 years old. You could buy from a, 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 you know, a personal person. I found that out. That's the way around the law. So what I'm saying is, is how are how do we have so many? When you say illegal firearms, why do you think of the ghetto? You don't think of a suburb. Why they don't got them? Why we got them? How are they getting here? You know what I'm saying? What gun? Who do you know that smuggle arms? I'm from the hood. I never knew one. Dude. You get a dude sometime that go buy guns, has somebody buy them. They, you know, we all know somebody like that. But a real arms dealer where you can go in and get AK-47s, fully automatics and all this. And I know I ain't been in the streets in a while, but you, you they ain't, no, ain't too many people in the hood going, get no fucking AK-47s off no boat nowhere. Fully automatic weapons, you know what I'm saying? This come, this has to come from the government or some source like that. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm just being real. Cause look, have look, man. I just don't understand why we catching so many cases for these illegal guns when guns are legal. Tell me how that makes sense. When anytime they talk about illegal guns, they talk about niggas. They talk about urban areas. And I just don't understand it when this shit is legal to go get. And they know once they pull you over nine times, how, how do you how do you figure that we got so many illegal guns? How do you know this? Why do police harass us like every gun? That's why they mad about that CPL shit in the hood. They make up laws, man. They make up sec. They look it's a, if it's an urban area where niggas at, they call it a high crime area. It don't matter what's going on. What 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 area in Detroit not high crime? But when you, they come to the hood, they want to jump out and search and frisk you. They want to illegally search you. They want to take lead detectors and hit your car with them and all this shit. The fine, and I don't care if you got license, registration, insurance. They're going to go through your shit. They're going to tear it up till they find a the gun. Then they're going to make up some lie how they got in your car. And you going to jail, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's a war against us, bro. It's true, like that that toothless limber, that, that toothless clan member. What he said, man, I couldn't believe that that nigga said we don't have to kill niggas no more. He said we, all we got to do is drop crack, heroin, and fentanyl in the middle of the ghetto, 
and they'll do it they motherfucking self. And that's what it seemed like, man. Because it's unbelievable to me that these motherfuckers who killed Julio Fulio didn't even have a car. They ain't got a pot to piss in. But they got all these weapons and all this shit. And then, and then the thing is, they went and killed this boy for what? Took his life and threw their whole life away. And I love seeing them suffer. I like that shit. I like seeing them suffer, bro, because that was some dumb ass shit. Something was mentally wrong with you. And then to take three, four, five more people and put them in there with it, like, what type of criminal are you? See, this YouTube thing, this gangsta rap bullshit, got these kids thinking way out the box. They thinking so, they not even, it's not logical. Everybody want to be shooters. Everybody want to be gangsters. You know why? You got these fake ass niggas in the music industry. Just like they exposing Baby now. They exposing Jay Prince. They exposing all these. Look, I just said it earlier, bro. They, they take these violent guys and they do their work for them. Most violent offenders, I, I'm going to say this on every one. Most violent offenders, they don't get locked up till they about to change their life. Violent offenders get slapped on the wrist. That's why so many people end up dead, young ladies and domestic shit. They boyfriends be out here for years doing dumb shit, shooting, robbing, and the police want to keep them out there to keep doing their work. And what happened was they beat them, whooped on their ass several times and let him back out. He's supposed to have been in prison. But because he's not in prison or in jail, he done went and killed this girl and two, three more people with her. Man, so many people need to sue these motherfuckers for that. I just watched something. The dude had an outstanding jail record, violent record. Y'all won't lock them up for shit because y'all want them to do y'all work. And like I said, it's a, it's a win-win for y'all because as soon as y'all use them up, Y'all going to squeeze him when y'all know he about to get out the game. Just when he about to change or before he get killed, y'all lock him up. Okay, you caught for this murder. They don't care about a the murder. They'll let a person out on a murder knowing he because the people, they don't give a fuck. They'll let him out on a murder. And long as you work, they'll know he killing people. They'll know he got six, seven bodies. I've seen this with my own eyes. I know people that this has happened to. I know rats that them been. I was locked up with a serial killer, bro. They knew he was a stone cold killer. And what happened, they didn't care. All they wanted was these drug dealers off the street. They want the niggas that's getting the money off the street. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. They, you can kill as many niggas as you want to. Just get me to do this. You just trying to do right. Get me to do this, getting to some money, trying to change his life. That's who we want. You. You kill off, but then what happened was this dude tripped out, got to smoke a crack, and he killed six, seven people within a week, a couple of days' time or a day. I think one day he killed like six people um, from Detroit, Michigan. Pull it up, L. Prophet. I was locked up. His name Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Something. I was locked up with him, man. That was my bunkie, and he was a serial killer, and he did that, my nigga. And they was using them. They didn't care about no murders or none of that. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Just like Woody, this Woody dude, it's the same thing, my nigga. They use you, and then once they press you, now they get you to tell on other motherfuckers, right? Now you a rat. So now you got to, you know what I'm saying? Now once you get the ratting, they put you back out there, and and, and they know eventually you're going to do something else to get locked back up, or somebody going to kill you for ratting. So there's no way they can lose. It's a win. They just use these young boys. And like, like I say now, man, look at all these guys that's on TV that's talking about this. Man, you know how many people on TV that actually got 50 bodies, 40 bodies, 30 bodies? I ain't talking about two, three, four. These are serial killers that's doing podcasts. And so the police now know this podcast is a big thing. They give them immunity, man. They say you could talk about anything. Look at Woody. He talking about anything. Look at Gangster. He talking about anything. Look at all these killers out of D.C. that's talking. But you look at a drug dealer. The reason he talking, he done done all this time. He done done the 20 or 30 years and came home. They made him do that. These guys, not so much. They did a few years, but for murder, that's nothing. You're supposed to be the death penalty of life in prison and these guys and did shit 20 years or 15 years or less and came home i seen one dude 10 years he did on a beat two bodies he did 10 years on two bodies 
because he a rat though. And so they looking at this shit. They the kids looking at this. These guys promoting this shit. They talk. They they known killers. So kids already looking for that. And they knew this dude was getting a couple of dollars. He was a known killer. Yada yada yada. And it's promoted over and over again to these kids. So it's getting a vicious cycle. Everybody want to be steppers. That's all the rap music promote. All the internet promote is these niggas that were steppers or so-called killers. And But to me, I don't understand how can you be from the hood and think that's so glamorous. If you from the hood, who gives a fuck? It's killers everywhere, bro. That's nothing to even be like, what is that, man? Like Everybody want that rep. Until you got to do that time and everybody turning rats and the government is allowing this. There's no way that the government should allow a motherfucker to make a statement on somebody else to get they self off of some shit. It don't make sense. There's no way that shit can hold up in court. They need to make a law and start stop betting. Do your fucking job. I keep trying to tell you, these police, this government is some dirty motherfuckers. See, every, they trying to make this shit like a race war. In America, bro, but that's not gonna happen, dog. Cause we we got we got a common enemy, and that's the government. That's the U.S. government, dog. That's why. Listen, why you think my shit? I know I talk good shit. I know. Listen, I, I don't get paid from this shit. You don't see commercials on my shit no more. Everything I put up is all yellow. Why? Cause I cuss. Or is it what I'm talking about? Or is it because I'm trying to say, hey, this was going on and we need to do better about this shit? They not promoting it. But let me be on some bullshit on this motherfucker. Everything will go green. It'll be okay to push that shit. Look at that. I got 6,000 motherfucking followers. I've been in this shit damn near three years. I've been in this. I've been going hard for the last year, two years. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm at 6,000 followers. Come on, man. I know I ain't thumbnailed, I ain't got nothing but just a phone and me talking, but I know I talk better shit than a lot of people, and I'm just being real. I like to see myself talking. I, I'm a good kid, and I'm not just, I, I'm, not, I'm not the type of person that really brag on myself a lot. I let other people do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about myself, but this one, this something I know I'm good at, and I know I'm talking real shit. And, and it's going nowhere, because they push and they promote what they want to, man. But we need to get this type of shit out here, man, because it's the it's the truth, man. The government is they not playing a fair game with us, man. When I look at the immigrant problem we got, and you think I will fucking actually I hate I even voted for Obama, man. I hate I voted for that motherfucker, man. So you think I'm gonna let because y'all got a black person up there, you think I'm about to get tricked into that shit again? Hell no, man. How you think, man, these Mexicans and shit, they and how you all of them is together. The Clintons, the, the the Obamas, and this motherfucker we got in there right now is all the same people, man. It's nothing going to change. How is the borders? How do we have all these problems? How are y'all leaving billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of shit? Damn near trillions of dollars in other countries that, that has nothing to do with us. And niggas over here starving, my nigga. We can't get shit to open up black businesses. You already know that the banking is unfair here. We can't get... We homeowners can't get fucking loans from the bank to fix your home. We can't get no type of grants to fix up your house that you live in permanently. A whole bunch of shit, dog. Motherfuckers going to jail every fucking day, getting forced to cop out. A lot of these kids is not even guilty. Or if they is guilty, they still don't get a fair shake at a trial, my nigga. Whether you guilty or not, it's not fair from the beginning how it's set up to how the prosecutors do shit. We, we got an unfair justice system. It's just so much shit that sh this money can be used for. And fuck just the education. Fuck, we need we need money, man. We need some checks rolling through this motherfucker, man. I think we owe that. Real talk. And motherfuckers always talking about black, young black kids don't want to work. No, we don't want to work for nothing. They don't want to work for nothing, man. Who the fuck want to go to work and be slaves? You know how hard it is to get a job? You almost got to beg a motherfucker for a decent job. And then when you get on that bitch, it's, you know, you got to work eight to ten hours a day your whole for, for some fuck ass punk chump change at billion dollar goddamn. How the fuck I'm, make, I'm barely making it. Rent damn near twice my fucking paycheck. I got to take two paychecks just for rent. So better loan kids and all this shit. And... It's crazy because, you know what I'm saying, you still starving out this motherfucker. 
and it's for billion dollar corporations. The overs is ridiculous. The the plants ridiculous. Walmart, Amazon. Look, the, it's the overs. You can't tell me that you can't pay the people more when one motherfucker is worth damn near a trillion dollars. How the fuck can't you in the overs is that? How are all these billion multi billionaires? You ain't even fifty years old and you worth fifty billion dollars. Not including the people that you employ. How many billionaires or multi-millionaires is under you? But the people that's working for you, you try to pull an education shit on them and say that they don't deserve decent pay because they they not they not as what 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 do it take education to flip a burger, motherfucker? Or or, or to rack some clothes up. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. So it don't take school. Most motherfuckers who go to school, the shit that you go to school for, you can learn and Fucking a week anyway. Motherfucker beat him went to jail for five guys. I mean, went to jail. Went to, went to school for five motherfucking years. And the, and still don't know what the fuck he doing. He still got to be trained. That education some shit. Just, just the, it's just the separators. The rich from the poor. You know what I'm saying? They know niggas can't afford that shit. So they make, they use that as their excuse now to say, you're not educated so you can't get this job. Well, most niggas pick on up to, on to shit quick. Like with the plumbing and all this shit. It's black motherfuckers out here I know that's master blasters that can do anything with a plumbing, electrical, anything. And you tell me you rather hire, hire a motherfucker that went to school for five years than this man who been doing this shit for 20 years? You know what I'm saying? And and then this he still got to teach this motherfucker. So this black man been doing it for 20 years, been working for you for five years, and you telling me that you going to hire a motherfucker that's never done this shit before coming out of school, but you going to get him more money, and this black man got to train him for the job. And he don't know the fucking job. I don't care how much he went to school, he don't know. That's why that education shit was just used for a ploy, because they knew niggas then like school number one number two they couldn't afford it so that's how they do that shit so don't tell me what because i ain't got an education most billionaires don't have educations my nigga they'll tell you that or they'll tell you that our education is a waste of money i done heard several billionaires say it's i'm not i'm not discouraging nobody to go to school if it's some things you know you want to learn you want to do that that's fine but i'm just telling you the average jobs out here I don't care where you work at. If you go work for General Motors right now, I know it was a school. They was you had to do a year class for you got in there. Why would I do a year class for some shit that I walk right up on the line and learn within three days? I'm not understanding that, man. So yeah, they try to play us on all, all, all around this motherfucker. So don't say black men don't want to work and all this shit. Look how hard you make it. Every job, it's no jobs in the urban cities. Period. So stop all that shit. Anytime a nigga get a job, that shit 25 miles out somewhere, you have to have a car and transportation to get there. All the jobs that's in the inner urban cities is Mexicans or white people got them. It ain't. You can't walk up on these construction sites. They gonna hire you, nigga. That ain't how that shit work. The only shit you gonna get in the hood is working for one of these fast food restaurants or somebody mom and pop stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucking good jobs around this motherfucker. If they is, they don't give them the niggas. That's for goddamn sure. That's why we need Coleman A. Young back in this bitch. Coleman A. Young told y'all, like, listen, if y'all, if y'all ain't from Detroit, don't you don't even you can't work in Detroit. You gotta live in this motherfucker. Or you the police, fire department, whoever. If you know what I'm saying? And that's how they need to trick trick this motherfucker. Like, nigga, if you ain't putting us in on that shit, all these Mexicans. Mexicans, y'all bitches got to have affirmative action too. How the fuck y'all come over here with millions of dollars worth of equipment and you got all your people on but not one nigga working for you? No, man, that ain't how that shit work, bro. It's fucked up. that We got to make Mexicans hire niggas. They got everything going now. I mean, I'm just telling real talk, man. They running this shit. How the fuck do immigrants come over here? Where, where, then listen, bro. There's no way that we can, we can right now start a fucking business with millions of dollars worth of shit. These ain't no small companies, man. These, man, nigga, listen. They have two F-350s or, or Chevy Dooleys, $100,000 trucks, the extended motherfuckers sitting up nice with rims on them. Nigga, I ain't talking about no white boy. This shit be on rims and shit. Several of them riding around. They have two semis, dump trucks on block to block tearing a the hole. They had piggyback motherfucking piggyback semi truck you know with the two things on them to dump the shit they be tearing up the all mexicans working all mexicans working 
all Mexicans own it. Motherfuckers can't even speak English. And I'm not mad at them. I'm just saying, if that was us, how the fuck did they get the money? How can an immigrant, where they getting the money from to do this? What you gonna say? They work, so they paying, how they gonna pay taxes? They illegal fucking aliens. Y'all don't question them like y'all question this, man. Y'all don't harass them like y'all harass us, man. I'm telling you right now, y'all talking about this illegal alien shit. Y'all don't, man, I ain't never seen a Mexican pulled over a day in my life. And I ain't never seen a Mexican begging either. Them motherfuckers working. They look out for it. I cannot knock them. I'm not knocking them at all. I'm just saying that it's unfair for us, the government, bro. That's car if that's if it's not cartel money that they use in the start, because they don't they don't beg, they don't ask nobody for shit. They get out here, they get to it, but where they getting all this shit to do it with? How they buying all these houses? Where the money coming from? So if the government not giving it to them and they are a minority, how the fuck can they do all this and niggas who've been here a hundred years can't do it? Is what I'm saying. And then if they are getting the money from the other places, I don't see the feds cutting in on them. What is cartel money? Y'all try to do that shit to the Muslims and shit. Y'all, y'all don't y'all make sure that's not terrorist money that they bringing over here and starting all these business with y'all. But these for some reason these Mexicans and shit y'all love them. And I'm not gonna lie, they making the neighborhood look better. But like I say, it's unfair because you can look at a, I can point at a Mexican house right now, and I can tell you that a Mexican live there or a white person. I can look at another house and for sure I can tell you that a nigga live there, a hundred percent. On just the way it's fixed up. And where the money at? Why, why, why? Come on, man. Y'all got us fucked up, dog. All the way around the board, y'all got us fucked up. It's a war against us, dog. And if we don't hurry up and wake up behind this shit, it's going to be over for us. In the next five years, boy, we're going to be so, because they separating us, bro. We was all in these urban cities together. They made us fight each other, to fuck all this shit up so they can come, made us weak. Now they can come back in and take it. So now they giving niggas cheaper housing out places, section out. They, now we separate. We was all in the ghettos together as one. We could have took that shit, had fun, but we wanted to act ignorant, shoot each other. And act like we own some shit over crack spots and all this shit when we don't own nothing. Instead of us taking this shit, we could have turned this shit around now and just own, don't even sell to our own people. We can have hubs set up now, but we only selling to them. Fuck that. My people, you can't use this shit. I'm not serving y'all. This shit is for whites only or for other people only. I'm, just, I'm being real talk. It, nigga, that's how I can go down now. I don't want to see nobody fucked up, but I'm tired of seeing my own people fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's ways. We, listen, dog. If we don't hold on to the little shit that we got now, man, what what we going to have our own? We don't. We not even going to have a ghetto to call our own no more. We going to be so separated out here. We going to be in them pieces of shit ass houses they had. Them fucking wood frame ass houses, two bedrooms, little ass houses. When we was in Detroit with brick houses. Look at look how nice the houses in here. Motherfuckers done bought these houses for a thousand. They, listen, dog. They did this shit in 07 where they took everybody's shit. Everybody's shit. They took it in Detroit. Everybody wanted to foreclosure at the same time. Boy, if y'all don't do and look into that shit, like how do everybody go in foreclosure at once? Just everything fell under this 07. Everybody dropped. Now, then, so they knew what they was doing because niggas been through a recession and all this shit before. Investors already had the ups. Let these street niggas spend all their money. They they knew what they was doing because when we start seeing houses going for a thousand, five thousand, everybody thought they was gonna get them. Niggas taking their last couple hundred thousand, buying every thousand dollar house, ten thousand dollar building. Then it was you know you couldn't. They not giving niggas loans, so you still had to have money to fix this shit up. Then on top of it, if you don't get it rented out, because nobody had money to rent the shit out. So you done bought all this shit, put all this money into it, but not no renters. Nobody buying. So year after year rolling, three years, you got to pay dollars just for all the taxes. $30,000 on the taxes for the shit you owe. So you end up losing it. So you done bought all this shit, spent all your money, and, and shit failed. And they knew what they was doing. Then it came another round. Okay, we're going to do it again. Hit it with another round. People were still holding on. Seemed like it was getting better. Then that's when all investors came in. When they knew they broke niggas, they knew it wasn't no more street money that niggas was really putting in. But it was a few street dudes out here that held on. They had enough money. It was hustling enough through that shit to pay the taxes and keep their shit up. And they, and they, and they, they the ones that's making it. 
the ones who had the real long money. But some of these dudes with less than a million dollars out here or a couple hundred thousand or that they, they fell off, man. I watched it, man. And and then so don't tell me that wasn't strategically done, man. Not the same house that you could have bought back then for a thousand, five thousand dollars. People owe listen, man, people owe hundreds of thousand dollars on these houses. You could have came and bought the house for a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars tops. Real talk. If you bid on it, nobody bid it on it, you get that motherfucker. Man, I'm telling you, I'm living proof. I let one go. My homeboy got it. I ain't tripping on it. But I, I'm I'm living proof that's how this shit go. And you telling me this shit wasn't strategically done? Now, them same houses that they done swindled out from niggas, they done bought everything that they wanted. Downtown, the two billionaires own everything downtown. Back in the day, black people had all type of shit downtown. Restaurants, bars downtown, and Cork Town, and uh, by the Easter Market, niggas had bars, supermarkets, all that shit. Niggas don't own nothing. Everything is white. We don't own not one motherfucking, not one thing do we own down that bitch. I can't tell you a motherfucking black person who owns shit down that motherfucker. Them billionaires got that shit on lock. It's like they bought everything that they possibly thought they could want and then said, okay, we'll help y'all niggas now. If y'all having problems with your taxes, if they done bought everything, so now the little shit that you got, you can hold on to, yeah, we'll help you with your taxes now. Why y'all wasn't doing that shit then that y'all doing now? Y'all help motherfuckers. Y'all knew y'all done niggas wrong. People had been paying on houses for all these years. Y'all didn't offer no motherfucking help to these people. And you seen that all these people lost their shit and y'all couldn't help these people. People been paying, people have committed suicide, bro, because they lost all their shit. They didn't pay for this house for them in 30 years, got a little behind. They didn't put two, three hundred thousand dollars into this and lost it all. And they've been struggling, barely holding on, paying, taking everything they can to hold on to this shit. And you just came and took it and gave it to a Mexican or a white person. Man, you think that shit won't make somebody go crazy, man? Every building. Building's just empty now. All these business we had in here, y'all just took it. Now, all these billions of dollars y'all motherfuckers putting over in fucking these goddamn other countries. You telling me you couldn't give a billion dollars to each major city to help the black people in this motherfucker hold on to what they got, gave them business grants to better their communities? And we built this bitch on our back. But yet you say we don't want to work, nigga. When all we ever, we was fucking slaves, nigga. The fuck out of here. I seen some racist shit my homeboy posted the other day. I, I peeped that shit, though. That's why I said you got to watch these other racist motherfuckers. You think they be your fucking friends. They don't be your goddamn friends. That motherfuckers be racist and hatred any, anyway. But it be the poor, the poor. See, listen, dog. This is the problem. It's a lot of poor white people out here that think that they privilege y'all just like niggas y'all just y'all worse than a, a black person man i'm just gonna be honest with you you know them dudes who follow trump did that poor the poor i can't say but you know the, the pyt my nigga they really think that they better because they put us on a fed i'm not being racist i'm talking to all people if you white black chinese you gonna gotta agree with what i'm saying because it's true these people think we the face of poorness they put us on tv my dog we always getting a handout of somebody helping us or poor niggas. I, every documentary they do on Detroit, they make us look so horrible, bro. They go out their way. That's why I can't wait till this channel get just a little bigger. Not much. If I get 20 more thousand followers, I'm up. Now I got a voice. 20 more. I can get 20,000 followers this week if I put the right stuff out. But I'm telling you, if I get 20. To 20 something, 30,000 followers. Oh, yeah, I'm calling them. They got to come back to Detroit. Yeah, dog, you got to come see me. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all riding around. And, and they don't even do this. The dudes who I'm talking about, they don't even do this type of videography. They don't do this type of content. They do ghost hunting houses and shit. But for some reason, they wanted to do one on Detroit. Of all places in the world, they came here and found the raggediest. In today's time, dog, you you not gonna find no rundown houses too much. 
you're not going to find no rundown houses, bro. You got to go out your way now, damn near, to find a burnt down, rundown house somewhere. And they found them. And they was talking about how messed up Detroit is and this and this and this. How is Detroit messed up? We we got we got the most beautiful is downtown. But these, like I told you, they give it to these Mexicans. They building these neighborhoods back up, my dog. They looking nice. But I just want my people. This is our shit, my dog. This is our blood, sweat, and tears. We done lost a lot of people throughout these neighborhoods. And that's the thing, dog. Our mind was so poisoned and messed up that we was fighting each other for some shit that we didn't even own, man. And, and it's messed up that we'll fight each other for a weed spot or a crack spot that you don't even own. Nigga, you're not even from over here. You don't even own none of this shit. But you will kill each other because y'all hustling. But yet they open up dispensaries on every fucking corner. The same motherfuckers that used to throw you in handcuffs, call you pieces of shit, take all your property, forfeit your money. These are the same motherfuckers that's opening up these weed spots on every corner in the hood. You think they getting robbed? You think they get in touch? You think niggas shoot they shit up? Tell me about some nigga you can't sell out here? These niggas breaking their motherfucking necks to go in there. Y'all stupid motherfuckers done took all the... That's why I have zero respect for any motherfucker that stepped foot in a, in a dispensary. I've never been a hater, my nigga. But anytime I see a nigga with some shit from a dispensary, it turn my stomach. Out of all these street niggas out here you can go to, you about to go to another race of people and buy this shit in your own neighborhood that they're not giving a dollar back but you can't tell a nigga shit I, you know I, I don't know who the fuck voted this shit in who voted this shit in to be here because you want to smoke some weed my nigga legally like man get the fuck it's still not legal son you get caught with enough or enough packaged up and it's not it's just it's just man the way niggas think bro we gotta think better it's a lot of this shit is our fault. Too much hate. Like, you got to be a hating ass nigga to set foot in one of these motherfucking dispensaries instead of going to a nigga you know out here hustling. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, fuck it. Oh, well, it's way cheaper than it. It's, it's, it's an excuse to go fuck with somebody else anyway. It's, it's always an excuse. It's just like, why niggas fuck with rats? Oh, he ain't right on me, so I fuck with him. Okay, these white people selling shit in your hood, you know. You know what I'm saying? They took the hustle away, the only hustle away that we had that was half ass, not so much time in it. Now nah, they make it illegal. They, they these motherfucker door dashing niggas weed. They 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 hand to hand and niggas shit when they get crowded, the power go out. They standing outside serving niggas all up and down the block. They got niggas in there with AK 47s, AR 15s protecting they shit. Nigga, and if they hit your house right now and catch you with an AR 15 protecting your shit. They, they add that on as an additional charge. When that was bullshit, too. That was some shit that they put on. That was another nigga law. That, you know what I'm saying? If you get caught with a gun in a drug house, like, nigga, why wouldn't I have one? Fuck you, man. How you gonna add that on? Like, it's you protecting a, You know, it's a whole nother thing. Like, I never understood that. Like, what the fuck? Who, what, what's, what, what did that change? Only thing you doing is giving people more time. See, some things I know a lot of people are not going to understand because a lot of people think, well, you shouldn't be doing wrong no way. But who are who the fuck are you to say what's wrong and what's right? Just a year ago, selling weed was wrong. But then when the white person, people said it was okay, now it's okay. So that's what I'm saying. People always want to say, well, you know, do what's right. So, okay, now that the white man said it's okay to sell weed, it's okay, the white man said it. It's the same thing they got going on with this motherfucking shit with R. Kelly and them. You know, in some states, these girls can be consensual sex at 15 years old, right? But do that make that shit right? But since the white man said that's cool, though, just, they can have girls at 15. Ain't nothing you can do. But that's do that seem right to you? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so if you can fluctuate that, so this nigga in this state, and she was 15 and a half when he, they, she say he had sex with her, but the statute, the shit, 16, if she'd have, she'd have been two weeks older, he could have been legal. And they, they, they make him look like he's just such a horrible person. Right? Who the fuck is, how is he horrible? Like, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck, what the fuck is the difference between a fucking 14 year old and a 16 year old? What's the difference? They both babies. So how is he so bad for fucking a 15-year-old? But 
he not a 16. When this shit is both horrible is what I'm saying. It's both horrible. But how you going to make that? You know where I'm going with this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all bad. It's the same thing with these laws, bro. They do what fits them, man. All the shit that they got that's fucked up. Alcohol is the worst drug known to man, my nigga. And this shit on every corner. But you know what's crazy? They flood this bitch with fentanyl. How the fuck us? What? Out of the biggest dope nigga we know in the world is Big Meats, right? That's one of the biggest. I'm just going to, everybody going to come with all these comments. Fuck all them niggas out of any other. I'm this nigga from my city. So I'm speaking on from my city. And you never knew. He never said, it's never been documented that Big Meats went nowhere to get no dope. He didn't go over in Colombia and get no dope. He didn't go nowhere. All them kilos of cocaine that he brought here was here already. He got the plug from here, my nigga. He didn't have a boat bringing this shit in. You know what I'm saying? So how in the fuck you get this man 30 motherfucking years and he done did damn near 17, bro? He doing a murder charge for some dope that y'all brought over here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bringing this shit in here and charging us with it. Like, you know, But anyway, like I was saying, if you bringing this shit in here, and if I fuck around, okay, now it's here, I'm a hustler, I'm about to start hustling this shit. Fuck it, it's here. Y'all, I didn't bring this shit here, you brought this shit here. So now I get some fentanyl, give it to a motherfucker, now they don't want here around. Now the fiends won't fit no. Ain't nobody tricking them. Stop acting. Stop playing the vid. Ain't nobody tricking these motherfuckers. They know they won't fit no. This is what they asking for. They don't want that other shit no more. Fitting all is cheaper. This is what they want. So now they do it. They greedy. They OD themselves. They die. Right? So now you want to kick a motherfucker doing and get them 25 years or life in prison because they died off some shit that they had a choice to come get. I'm not understanding that shit. Right? I'm not understanding that shit. So now they kick my door and take me to jail. But yet, I can be at the motherfucking liquor store. By all the liquor I want, I can have kidney health problems. Knowing I'm a drunk, they still going to sell this shit to me. My brain can be bad. I can be losing my mind. My boy did it. The liquor store in the hood right now, my boy's eyes was yellow as a motherfucker, dog. He told them in the store. They know him good. I'm dying. I got fucked up liver. I don't supposed to be drinking. Guess what? They sold it. The night he died, they sold it to him, bro. The night he died, he kept going up to the store, coming back to come back. Died on my boy living room flow. True statement. True story. They sold it to him. But ain't nobody go up there and say, hey, he sold him his liquor knowing he was sick. Suppose a motherfucker get, go to the liquor store, you can be falling out that motherfucker. Long as you got some money to buy whatever you gonna get, they don't give a fuck about you. Long as you you can kill somebody leaving out there. A uh, parking lot, boom, kill them right, two, three, a whole family in front of this stuff. Do you think they going to think to charge these people in this store? These bars that's open at 4 o'clock in the morning, when people live there, they know these people fucked up and drunk. They can leave the bar. You know why? Because most people that own these bars is not black. They other people, they don't give two fucks about no nigga, man. This is the truth, bro, what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's the truth, man. They don't give a fuck about no motherfucker. So they're not going to go and try to say, man, you served him liquor and you knew he was high. You're responsible for this because you're supposed to watch him and you know this thing saying none of that. But if a nigga serve a motherfucker pack who got a choice, just like they got a choice to get that liquor, we the worst people in the world, though, my nigga. And y'all put that shit here. We didn't go get that shit. That shit came to us. You know what I'm saying? So these the laws that they give us, dog, and that shit is unfair, man. It's unfair. It's unfair to get somebody 10 years, 5 years for a gun when you have a right to bear fire. It's our constitutional right to bear firearms. This is a nigga law. How the fuck? I don't, if I, how you give a, how you give a, look, dog, how do you give a motherfucker more time for a gun that he has a right to bear that he's never hurt nobody with just in possession and get you five years of your life took it. There's no way they would do white people like that. There's no way possible they would do white people like that. Listen to me. They would never do a white A white person not going to let them do them like that. You know how they get out on us and they jump out right? 
and they search us at these stores or they pull us over and just get us out the car. You think they'll do white people? Man, I got some shit on tape. I can't wait to show you. I got I got a Canon camera beast. I was out here filming one day because uh, my man and them came from Memphis. Uh, what's the nigga name with the fucked up arm? You know the comedian nigga be with P.R.E. Grove Hero was down here. So they come, they show love. We was down there filming and shit. And the police had pulled up on my cousin and just got out. Like somehow they knew he had a pistol on him. So he gave him a CPL or whatever. So I said, man, how can, how can you just ask him? I wanted to get ignorant. If I was a little drunk, I'd have been out there fighting these motherfuckers to be real with you. But I was like, they was young. They was pretty, they cool now because they young, they knew. But I'm like, man, how can you just search this man like that? Like, you're not going to walk up on no white person, are you? He said no. He, he For real. He said, I said, you're not going to go to no white person neighborhood and do that shit, you know? He said no. He said, but when we leave out our district or whatever, he said, they brief us. They said in the high crime rate areas, they can do that. So how the fuck is we in the same state, the same city as white motherfuckers, right? But you only come over here and fuck with the niggas like that. Because it's a high crime area. What what area ain't high crime? Now you doing that shit because you you know what I'm saying? You wanna take you wanna send niggas to prison, bro. And you know motherfuckers gonna be strapped. How you gonna tell how you gonna have a task for how you gonna how y'all motherfuckers not gonna do your job? That's you not doing your job. That's why the, the neighborhood is so violent. Y'all not helping nobody. All y'all doing is harassing niggas 24-7. That's all y'all do. The police is not our friend. We don't like these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? No nigga have no respect for no police over here. They don't got none for us. It's a war. We don't like them. They don't like us. This ain't no white neighborhood. When police ride by, these kids don't wave at them and want to beat them. The kids throw their middle finger up. Kids get the fuck on. They don't want to get shot. They putting fucking nine or 12 year old hand cuffs on kids around this bitch. So, no, this ain't like when you ride up a white neighborhood and everybody want to get in the car and push horns and all that shit. No, that, this ain't what it is, my nigga. So, all they want to do is harass us. And so, we know we got to stick up for ourselves. All this carjacking and armed robbery shit going on around here. And you telling me I can't have a gun to protect myself for some shit that I done did in the past that I done paid my debt for, nigga. I done did the time for this shit. I don't give a fuck if I did probation, a year or two, five years in jail, whatever it was, bitch, I paid you my debt. Why are you giving me the time? If it's, what the fuck you giving me the time for? Fuck, you ain't my goddamn daddy. Who the fuck are you to punish me? I'm an American citizen like you, so who the fuck are you to give me any type of time for anything, nigga? If I did it, it's to pay a debt. So how the fuck my debt not paid? I'm not on probation or parole, none of that shit. Give me my shit back, man. Shouldn't be no motherfucking one strike, two strike, three strikes. Who the fuck are you to do that? Sentence me for what the fuck I done, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That shit is because it go back to what I said. They want to keep giving these niggas strike, 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 strike till they strike they self out. But long as you a violent felon, if you are getting money, nigga, if you a big meat, 30 years up up front. Did Big Meech have a big jail record? Was he a violent fucking criminal before this? Fuck no. 30 years off bail, nigga. You doing 17 out this 30 with the drug classes and shit. How can a get money, nigga? You ain't never connected no murders to this man and convicted him of no murders. He wasn't a murderer crew or none of that shit. He was getting money and he doing time like he killed somebody. And then you got niggas sitting up on these TV shows with over 20 and 30. Man, the United States government need to be fucking shame of themselves, man. Dog, if y'all don't see the way they doing this, you gots to be crazy, man. And I ain't just talking, bro. I, I can sit here and talk every day. I can do an hour of this shit, two hours of this shit. Don't let me have a nigga with me. But. My numbers just don't run up, man. I just be trying to do what I can to run these. Once my numbers get up and I know that I can push this shit out here, it, it, it's, go, it's going down, bro. If you don't see what I'm saying and you don't agree with this shit, something wrong with you, man. I'm not making excuses up, bro. We we, we, we got to hold ourselves accountable, too, for a lot of shit. I understand that. But like a white boy told me at my job, nigga, the game was rigged from the beginning. It make it look like a lot of this shit is our fault. But we can win no way. You know what I'm saying? This shit, dog, you are 
what you see, my dog. So when you hear and listen to all this shit, when you wake up in the morning, all you see is black on black crime. All, everything in our music is black on black. It's no fun in the ghetto. The ghetto used to be the most fun place, but they bringing it back. See, one thing I see that y'all don't see, a lot of kids now is on this education shit. They, they trying to be entrepreneurs. You got a, these few of these ignorant motherfuckers. It's a lot of them, though, bro. But a lot of hate in their heart. And they want to be gangsters. But once we, like they just did that shit 50 Cent did down in um, Shreveport, Louisiana, they not praising that enough. They not putting that shit on TV enough how it wasn't. Not nobody fucked over or none of that shit. So every time we get a big audience of black people loving each other, having a good time, we need to post that shit. Because that's what we need to get on, man. We need to get on that. If you start showing positive shit, if you start rapping about better shit, then and the thing is, the shit y'all niggas rapping about, y'all lying. But it's a catch-22, so I understand why they, why they rap about it. Because this is what gets them attention and what's get so it's fucked up. They how, how you gonna win? When I can be the best rapper and rap about everything else, but I'll never be heard. But let me go piss on a nigga grave 